Jeez, what is up everybody? I am Oneno. Thank you for tuning into this video. And today I don't have uh, much of a script as much as I just want to talk about a subject with you because I feel like it's very important to find some peace in the middle of this apparently chaotic time. Uh, what I'm speaking of is the disillusionment of America. That's what I'm deciding to call this video because right now it seems to me like we are all going through a collective identity crisis. And this identity crisis that we're going through has to do with this election that we all just went through. Uh, some people decided that Hillary Clinton was the right uh, person to vote for, and other people decided that Donald Trump was the right person to vote for. And what are the ramifications of this voting process? We now have an even more divided society, an even more frustrated body of people, and we are actually starting to embody quite a disturbing amount of hatred towards one another, given our voting preferences. What, what power, what kind of secret spiritual power does voting have in order to get us to turn against one another? This is the question that I don't think very many people are asking. What purpose does voting serve? What are you voting for when you vote for president? You're voting for the president of a corporation. Now I need to make something very clear to you that at the onset of what I'm about to say might not make sense to you, but I beg you to please keep listening so that you will understand what's happening. It is my promise to you that what I speak on this channel is true. I am a man of truth. I do not spread lies. I do not entertain lies. I do not hang out with people that live life uh, with principles of deceit. My whole life and my whole principle is to explain and to express the truth and to only speak the truth as far as I know it. And sometimes the truth is very difficult to speak and to express, and this is one of those times. Because a lot of what I'm about to say will trigger judgments inside of you, and um, you may leave my uh, video, and that's fine. Uh, nonetheless, I have to speak the truth. The truth is that when you vote for president, you are actually diminishing your freedom as a human being on the land. There is such a thing called maritime admiralty law, and that is the law of the ocean, not the law of the land. There's only one law on land, and that is God's law, or the law of nature, which is do no harm. There's no other law that we must abide by if we claim to be free people. That's the only law in existence, do no harm. When harm has been committed, then one must answer for that harm. One must do something about it. Um, but if no harm has been committed, there has been no crime. So how is it then that uh, institution like the police have the quote unquote right to detain people, to forcefully take them into court or into jail? What gives the judge a right to tell someone that they must go live inside of a jail for the next however long amount of time? What gives these people the quote-unquote authority to do so if they have no God-given right? Meaning that if there has been no harm created, if somebody's just breached a quote-unquote speeding law, then how come the judge has the quote-unquote right to make some person who has violated this law of man, what gives them the right to forcefully make that person pay the state even $75. Let me answer this for you as briefly as I can. You have diminished your status by joining a corporation. You see, corporations are beneath the free and independent people in our society. Corporations are formed by the people so therefore, the power structure, the people exist at the top, the people are free to do whatever they want, including make a corporation. If a group of people come together and make a corporation, 
The corporate status is beneath that of the people. The people have created the corporation, not the other way around. So the corporation can never tell the people what to do. The corporation can only tell its employees what to do. So you have the people who are free and independent. Some of those people grouped together and decided to make a corporation, which is a fiction. It doesn't exist, but in the minds of the people. So the corporation then sets all these rules and guidelines that its employees must abide by if they wish to be part of that corporation. But if these employees are not part of that corporation, their natural status is that of the people. So therefore, the people always and forever have more power than the corporation. Now there's another body of information that you need to go out there and research for yourself because I will not be able to clearly explain it all to you. But around the turn of the 1900s, towards the end of the 1800s, the United States officially became incorporated. So we have in power the United States Corporation. So now there's two things that exist that sound very much alike, but one is real and one is fictional. The real thing that exists is that we live on a land mass we have verbally described as America. America only serves one law, and that is God's law, the law of do no harm. That's it. If you fall out of that law, then you are subject to the court and to the jail and to the punishment that you deserve because you have fallen out of God's law, which is do no harm. If you cause harm, then you must correct that harm that you have caused. But there is another thing that we speak of that we have labeled America, which has nothing to do with what I was just talking about. This other thing that we have labeled America is the corporation known as the United States of America. Now, what is this corporation? It's a piece of paper filed somewhere and on somebody's desk. That's what the corporation is. It exists on a piece of paper and in the minds of the people that accept this ideology. You might be asking yourself by this point in the video, what the heck does any of this have to do with voting for president and with the disillusionment of America? It has everything to do with what is currently going on because if you understand the power structure that I just laid out, then you can understand that the president of the corporation of the United States of America is beneath you, is underneath you in power. Let me make a clear analogy and then I will wrap up this video to keep it short. Here's a clear analogy of how our corporate United States of America operates in the land known as America. The United States of America Corporation is no different than the corporation known as Walmart. Walmart is free to do whatever they wish with their corporate guidelines, and anybody that claims to be an employee or seeks to be an employee of Walmart must abide by the corporate guidelines. But those corporate guidelines have no real-world effects, meaning that if I am not an employee of Walmart, then Walmart has no jurisdiction over me and my free and independent body and free and independent life to tell me how to behave. So for instance, if Walmart decides that smoking marijuana is something they do not want their employees to do, they have the right to put that in their corporate guidelines and they also have the right to fire people or not hire people given their status of smoking marijuana but they have no right whatsoever to tell that person that they cannot smoke marijuana in their free and independent life outside of the corporation known as Walmart. And so if Walmart is going through a presidential debate and Walmart wants all of the employees of Walmart to vote for who their next president of Walmart will be, um, what does it matter to the free and independent man? What does it matter to the free and independent person? 
outside of the corporation known as Walmart. It doesn't matter at all, in fact. There is no emotional weight that any other person should feel when there is a changing of the guard of who is the president of Walmart. Now, if you genuinely care about Walmart and their policies, then perhaps you should consider becoming an employee. Perhaps you could, should consider becoming an investor and getting involved with that company to help shape the form, uh, the direction of that company. But guess who has no power with that process? The average employee. The average employee that is stocking the shelves has very little say over what the CEO is going to do with the company. And this whole analogy is to describe to you what's happening in the real parts. Uh, it's so difficult to talk about this clearly because language is so confused. But none of this has any real bearings when it comes to free and independent people on the landmass known as America. Donald Trump, who, uh, who is our president to be, has no say over how I live my life. If Donald Trump tomorrow enacts a bill that says um, all white men can no longer marry, first of all, that wouldn't make any sense. And second of all, it has, he has no jurisdiction over my life and over my property. I need no corporate license in order to become married. I can make my own license. I can go to a power of attorney with three witnesses. I can draft up any document that a judge may be able to draft up. I may get it notarized, which is the exact thing the judge does in court. And all of that will happen outside of the corporation. And then I can still get legally married because I have followed the legal process outside of the corporation's legal process because I do not serve a corporation. I am not an employee of a corporation known as the United States of America and I do not claim citizenship as a citizen of the United States of America. You need to research what that word means in the legal sense, citizenship, because it's not what you think. Citizenship means that you're an employee of the corporation. And I am not. I receive no benefits from this corporation. I receive no privileges. And I ask for none because I am above this corporation known as the United States of America. And this is what was set up in 1776. What was set up in 1776 was for people to be free and independent, sovereign, above all forms of corporate control. The classic sense of corporate control, which we moved away from, is uh, the monarchy of the queen or the pope, the papacy. The king, the queen, and the pope were the only entities considered sovereign up until we, the people that are living here in America, left Europe, came over here, and established a free and independent society away from those people. <laughs> and yet, here we are, 300 years later, our whole system has been compromised. We aren't even educated to, to even understand that we are volunteering ourselves into slavery on a daily basis. And this happens through a form of word trickery and we volunteer ourselves into the status of slavery with words like, I am a citizen of the United States of America. Those words are poetry designed to confuse you, to make you think that you are being patriotic when in fact you are now leaving the free and independent jurisdiction and entering into the maritime admiralty law jurisdiction where you are subject to the corporation. You are no longer a free and independent man or woman walking on the land, living freely and independently away from all corporate endeavors and following the only law in existence, which is the law of do no harm. If you truly wish to give up your status, then claim that you're a citizen, register to vote, get a driver's license, 
Sign your life away and give your child's lives away via birth certificates. Now look, I have fallen into all of these traps as well, and I am learning how to get out of them because I know from deep within my soul that I am a man of truth. I live by one law, which is the law of do no harm, and that is it. So to wrap up this video, any person that I communicate with that is emotionally upset about Donald Trump becoming president or is emotionally upset about the fact that Hillary was not voted into being president, my message for you is to bring your power back within yourself because you have clearly externalized your power to think that someone like Donald Trump or someone like Hillary Clinton has power over you when in fact they have none. And if you go around living your life like these people do have power over you, then you are literally handing them your power and manipulating yourself. You have let them manipulate you into you manipulating yourself. This is a harsh, me a harsh message to understand, but I promise you that if you go down this rabbit hole and research what I'm talking about, you will discover that you are free, independent. As you sit and breathe right now, you have no corporate ties. You owe no allegiance to any corporation. The only allegiance you owe is to do no harm to your brothers and sisters. It's really that easy. And as long as you remain a man or woman that does no harm, you are free, completely. You do not need to pay taxes. You do not need to pay parking tickets. You do not need to pay these things, which are considered crimes without victims, where harm has not been caused. So, do a little bit of research and stick around. <laughs> There's plenty more to talk about. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks for listening. Go over to the website, iamoneno.com, read the blog, sign the email list so we can stay in touch. And until I see you again along the journey, oneness in sound, I am Oneno. Peace.